Bravo, bravo. Well done, kids. Thank you so very much. We will now take you to the cook station in downtown Greenville, where Bishop Guglielmoni will prepare his famous Italian mm. seafood pasta. Sounds delicious to me. Me too. And now it's time for Cooking with Bishop Guglielmoni. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Cook Station, which is located in the west end of downtown Greenville. I'm Bishop Robert Guglielmoni, and I want to thank Kelly Colasiopo of the Cook Station for allowing this to be my kitchen away from home today. Joining me are my tasters. They have the responsibility of verifying for you that the dish I am about to prepare is simply wonderful. Tasters, please tell our viewers who you are and the name of the parish that you are attending. Hi, I'm Quinn Pham. I'm a member of Our Lady of Love and Mission. Very good. Welcome. And uh, it's good to see you here today. And I'm Cheryl Casper, and I'm visiting from St. Mary of the Lake Parish in New Buffalo, Michigan. And I just heard you made really good food, so I came. My goodness, a long way to come for a dish of pasta. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> I am David Fenn. I am a Franciscan friar. I'm serving for uh, Diocese Charleston. Hello, Bishop, and I wish everyone to have a wonderful Christmas. Kính chúc quý ông bà và anh chị em một mùa Giáng sinh vui vẻ và an lành. Well, thank you. It's good of you to be here. I wish I knew a little more Vietnamese and I could understand some of what you were saying, but we'll figure that out. Probably we'll learn a little bit later. Yes. <laughs> I'm Mayra Trujillo. I'm a member of St. Mary Magdalene Catholic Church in Sinsonville. Um, I'm happy to be here and Feliz Navidad. Well, welcome. It's great to have you here. And uh, St. Mary Magdalene is the place I usually stay when I come up and spend some time in Greenville. In our Catholic tradition, uh, the celebration of Christmas begins actually on Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day is the day that most folks really celebrate. For many people, it's a day in which family and friends gather in someone's home to share a big meal together. Many of our holiday guests will remain a few days afterwards, and of course, there are the holiday guests that simply remain for quite a while and somehow just don't seem to want to go home. Anyway, on these days after Christmas, you may want to consider serving a dish that's light, quick, and easy to make for a large group. I have the perfect dish for you. It's my seafood linguine. And with a name like Guglielmoni, believe me, I know pasta. Let's begin. First of all, we have the ingredients that uh, are here. Um, uh, on our, um, uh, our, our countertop, okay? It's uh, olive oil, lemon, garlic, of course. How can any Italian cook without garlic? Uh, chopped onion, some small zucchini, six, a large uh, shrimp peeled and divined. Uh, we could uh, uh, also look at uh, six to eight uh, bay scallops. Of course, there is always the possibility of using um, larger scallops and cutting them up. Uh, crab meat. Uh, Italian parsley, butter, uh, some white wine, Parmesan cheese to taste, and of course, the linguine. I would uh, certainly like to, um, to uh, thank uh, Ms. Marianne Nugent at Jojo Seafood Market in Greenville for supplying us uh, with this wonderful seafood. Uh, I do need a, uh, a spoon here to sort of move this butter around. Ah, you hear the sizzling starting? That's a sign that perhaps it's just a little bit too high. All right, the next step, of course, is to get our garlic in. And to get our onion. Give that a good... And we just keep that moving right along. And of course, the zucchini needs a little bit of time to cook. So we're going to take some of the zucchini and put it right in. Okay, the idea, of course, is, is to keep this cooking at a low flame here uh, until you start to see the, uh, the garlic, uh, the onion, and the uh, zucchini starting to brown, indicating that they're, that they're pretty much cooked. Uh, to the extent that you want. At this point, you can put parsley in later, but I always like to put parsley in at this point because what happens is that the parsley adds 
Um, oh, you hear that sizzle. It not only adds a beautiful scent, but it also adds some, some necessary color that will also assist us later. At this point, you can see where everything is ready and it's time to go with the seafood. Um, obviously, I like to put the shrimp in first. And then, of course, your deveined scallops. And then, of course, our crab meat. Now, of course, the key with the seafood and the key with pasta, of course, is not to overcook it. Shrimp does not need to be overcooked at all, and uh, neither do any of the other ingredients here because the shrimp becomes like rubber if it's overcooked. Okay, everything's all mixed up. Now the classic ingredient, white wine. I don't know where you are if you can sense that scent of the white wine, but what a difference it, it makes in terms of the, the overall invitation through all of the senses. It looks beautiful, but it also smells beautiful. Well, it looks as though we're just about set here. However, <clears throat> there's one ingredient that's still missing, and that is the pasta. So uh, if, uh, if you don't mind, I will go get the pasta, which has been prepared. And um, we will take the pasta and place it in a wonderful serving dish. Oop. And now, oh, perfect. Of course, as I say, an Italian dish without some Parmesan cheese. And according to taste, not everybody is, is into the red pepper, but uh, it, it really adds a little bit. So I'm just going to put a dash in. But of course, that's up to your own taste, depending on whether or not you like a little spice or, or not, depending on how much of the red pepper you put in. And so here we have this absolutely magnificent dish, which is not very uh, time consuming in terms of preparation. And of course, if you have a house full of guests, uh, obviously you use more linguine, more shrimp, more crab meat, etc. But you can adjust that to taste. It's really a very easy dish to make. Tasters, are you ready? In Puerto Rico. Esto está delicioso. That's in Spanish, huh? In Vietnamese tradition, they say non hua. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, wonderful, um, easy recipe for, uh, for Christmas or any other time of the year, but it's a great recipe, uh, especially if you have a, a good number of people and you want to serve them a wonderful pasta. So thank you so much for participating in this. Uh, certainly uh, wish you a very, very uh, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Feliz Navidad, uh, and uh, uh, um, a Buon Natale in Italiano, uh, but uh, certainly uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, you can get this recipe uh, simply by going to our website, uh, as you see on the screen, and uh, certainly wish you the very best. It's been a pleasure being with you and sharing this recipe with you this day. Well, that's the end of our show. To locate a Catholic church near you, visit us on the web at www.sccatholic.org. Again, that's www.sccatholic.org. 
Thank you for joining us on the day we celebrate Jesus' birthday. May God bless you and have a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Goodbye. Goodbye.